<laughs> okay, the topic of today's Punch in the Face video blog is the main event of UFC 148 in which Chael Sonnen was turned away for the second time by UFC middleweight champion Anderson the Spider Silva. And yes, I know, the fight's already been dissected a million different ways from Sunday. But it struck me how much talk there was about the what's of that fight, and not enough talk about the why's. Because it's the why's that present the most interesting questions about Silva's future. Now what got me thinking about this is the second round of that fight in which Silva flagrantly broke the rules. Now, if that was almost any other fighter, it would hardly be notable. I mean, this is high-level athletics. The athletes are looking for an edge. And as Chael Sonnen himself says, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. But this wasn't just any other fighter. This was Anderson Silva, who's so dominant he makes other elite fighters look like rank-and-file amateurs. This guy doesn't cheat because he doesn't have to. He's never been taken out of his depth, and he's never been made to reconsider his skill set. Until he met Chael Sonnen. In their first fight, Sonnen beat him so bad, it was worse than anything that ever happened to him before in his career. And although he used a rib injury as an excuse for his performance in that fight, in the early going of the rematch, it wasn't going any better. So how did Silva turn the tide? He went into Ric Flair mode and became the dirtiest player in the game, grabbing a big fistful of Sonnen's trunks to keep from being taken down, and later throwing a knee that, if Sonnen had even twitched his chin, would have been massively illegal. Now I ask you, are those the actions of a champion who's used to toying with his competitors? Or are those the actions of a desperate man? Now I'm not saying this stuff to diminish the accomplishments of Silva. He beat Sun in fair and square, twice, and he deserves all the accolades that go along with that. But it still bears mentioning that now that Chael Sonnen's wrestling-based ground-and-grind style has been shown to be Silva's Achilles heel, what do you think the rest of the middleweight division is doing? They're sitting up and paying attention. And wrestling-based fighters like Chris Weidman, waiting in the wings, are waiting to line up and establish themselves as challengers who finally have a concrete idea of how to find the chinks in the champion's armor. And so, as time continues to unfold, it's going to be really interesting to see if Silva can remain dominant, or if the blueprint that's been laid down by Chael Sonnen proves to be that one frayed thread that can unravel the spider's web. And now... A new thing with the Mollus Punch in the Face video blog, the Punch in the Face Trivia Challenge. And what's at stake, you ask? One shirt from Roots of Fight, one piece of supplementation from the Fusion Bodybuilding Supplement line. So, what I want you to do is this. Answer the following trivia question, get up there to the contact link, click it, send me the answer, and one week from today, I will select at random one winner from all the correct answers. The question is as follows. Masakatsu Fanaki is a name you may or may not remember. He is a former king of Pancrase and an architect of mixed martial arts as we know it today. What I want you to tell me is this. List five of his competitors in professional wrestling. That's right. Before he was an MMA fighter, Fanaki was with New Japan Pro Wrestling. And since he retired, he went back to wrestling. So I want a list of five of his opponents in pro wrestling. So get up to the contact link. Send me the list. I will select a winner one week from today. And that's it for the Mauler's Punch in the Face video blog. As always, I want to thank Fusion Bodybuilding, I want to thank Roots of Fight, and I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Paul the Mauler Lazenby wishing you happiness, health, and a punch in the face!